Hey guys, we're back on the Nova Show. It's your host, International Nova. We're back in my home recording studio, episode two. So first off, I want to thank you guys for accepting me into the family, the Fino family. I really appreciate the love. The comments have been amazing. The feedback has been amazing. And I just want to thank you guys for that. So with that being said, last episode, we touched on home recording studio basics. This episode, we're going to do the same, but we're going to move on to microphones. Microphones are very important to your studio and you want to make sure you have the right microphone for the right artist as different microphones give you different types of sound. But before we get into that, we're going to touch on today's music news. So now if you guys have a social media account, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen the memes that's been going around regarding Drake and Meek Mill. It's been a very interesting past two weeks and uh, it's getting pretty funny as well. Now some of these memes are crazy. I'm going to show you guys a few of those. Now Drake has released a couple of records going at Meek Mill. While Meek Mill did release a record, it was actually pretty hard to understand what he was saying. I think in this case, the true winner, social media. You guys are pretty funny. So now in today's episode, we're going to touch on microphones. If you're looking to open up a recording studio, whether it be a professional studio or at home studio, you want to make sure you have the right microphones for your studio. There's two types. One is a condenser microphone and a dynamic microphone. And we're gonna touch on what these tools are. You wanna make sure you have the best microphone that fits your voice or your style, or your artist's voice or style. So there's a few types of microphones, mainly condensed microphones and dynamic microphones. Now the differences are, a condenser microphone has a much better frequency response, which is really the speed at which it reproduces the sound. Now they also require phantom power. Now phantom power is pretty common, and it's also integrated in most mixers and preamps. So don't worry about that. Condenser microphones are great at reproducing sound, but are also very sensitive to loud noises. So keep that in mind within the recording booth. Now the second type of microphone is a dynamic microphone. Those mics are only used for live events or performances and are not used in most recording studios. Now the reason why they're not used in most recording studios is the sound quality is just not that great. When you're performing at a live event, you can kind of hide the sound quality but in the recording studio, it becomes pretty evident pretty fast. So my recommendation, do not use a dynamic microphone in your studio. Now with that being said, I have my personal microphones here that I want to talk to you guys about. Now this microphone, the AKG Perception 200, was actually my first microphone ever used in a recording studio. I've had this for a long time, and it's still one of my most trustful microphones. Now this mic is actually pretty inexpensive, and it only costs around $150. You can find this in any major music store or website. Now what I love about this microphone is that it's pretty balanced. It's not too much bass or too much treble, and it actually gives you a lot of room to get that sound you want through your EQ. So I would definitely recommend using this microphone. Now another microphone that I would definitely recommend is the Bluebird. I've had this microphone now for about four years. Now what I would say about this microphone is, it's very heavy on the bass. So I would definitely only recommend using this microphone for an R&B artist or a pop artist who's singing vocals. Now this next microphone, the Newman TLM 103, is probably one of the most popular microphones across the world in recording studios, um, next to the U87, which is kind of the big brother to this model. Uh, this microphone does retail for 1100 bucks. it's pretty expensive, but it's well worth the money. The sound and the quality that you get with this microphone is amazing. So I would definitely recommend using this microphone. Now I haven't found this mic to be too heavy or too high on the treble, uh, which is actually pretty good because it allows me to shape the sound however I want to using the EQ. Uh, so it's definitely something I would definitely recommend as far as mics on the high end. Um, again, this does retail for 1100 um, bucks. So again, if you have the money, you want to spend it, get this microphone. Now in any recording studio, using any type of condenser microphone, I would definitely recommend getting a pop filter. A pop filter helps to reduce the noise coming from your vocals, especially with P's and T's and S's. Very inexpensive, but very crucial to your recording studio setup. Go get one. So that's it for today's episode. As always, please leave a comment below. I do check. And until next time, you guys take care.
exhale She got me flying on this plane like I'm dead sail <laughs> And mommy bad, I'm zoning, he get it poppin' and rollin' She put it down